In this video, you'll learn how to track and analyze hundreds of markets in real time with NinjaTrader's Market Analyzer window. I'll show you how you can open a new market analyzer, add a list of instruments, customize columns to view the data that's most important to you, and how to sort instruments by data values to pinpoint significant market events. To open a new window, select New and Market Analyzer from the NinjaTrader Control Center. You'll want to make sure you're connected to market data, as this is needed to populate its columns. If you need help with this, check out our Get Connected to Market Data video. With a new blank market analyzer open, I now need to add some instruments. I can add instruments by right-clicking and selecting Add Instruments. From here, I can add individual instruments, use an instrument search option, or add an entire list of instruments. I'll add the Dow 30 list of stocks for now, but you can always add more instruments from this menu. By default, new market analyzer windows will show the last, bid, and ask prices for all instruments. You can customize the columns to display the data that's most meaningful to you. This is done by right-clicking anywhere within the market analyzer window and selecting columns. You can see a list of available columns from the top left menu. I'm going to add a net change column. I'll select Net Change, then click Add to add the net change to my list of configured columns. For a little more visual representation of the net change, I'll enable color distribution from the properties on the right panel. When I click OK, you can see the net change column populating for each instrument. Many columns can be added, including indicator values. If you want to remove columns, that can also be done from the Columns menu. I'll right-click once more and access the Columns Configuration menu. From the bottom left list, I'll select the column I'd like to remove and click Remove. I'm going to do this with both the Bid and Ask Price columns since I'm not too concerned with those values for this set of instruments. When I click OK once more, you can see that both the Bid and Ask columns have been removed. It's also possible to sort instruments by data values. This can make it easy to see instruments that have the highest or lowest value for net change or an indicator. Simply clicking on the Net Change column title arranges my instruments by their net change values. This can be a very helpful tool in identifying significant market events. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our videos for quick tips to help you get started with NinjaTrader.